What's up everybody here with Buckeye Reviews? That's not a flashlight. Uh, today we are looking at the Eddie Bauer Snowfoil Winter Boots. Um, the, I had to order some new boots and I, I have a lot of Eddie Bauer. I'm wearing an Eddie Bauer shirt by the way. So I have a lot of their gear. I believe in their gear. I believe their gear has got me through some pretty rough times in the outdoors, especially because I like to winter camp and winter backpack a lot. So their gear has got me through some pretty, pretty sketchy, sketchy moments out there, to say the least. So I'm pretty fond of their gear. I, I it just works well for me. Yeah, it seems to always be a good fit for me. So I got these boots because obviously I like getting out in the winter time and usually a pair of boots might last two seasons for me. Um, and that's a big might. Uh, the, it's hard out there in the winter. I mean, they could freeze, they could refreeze, they could get saturated, they could freeze, they could freeze some more. A lot of things can go wrong. Uh, you're usually carrying more weight and, and more stress on the boots. And, it, yeah. and at the same time, you're living out in the woods for days in those conditions, these are important. These are so important. I cannot emphasize that enough. Um, if you're going out in a 15 degree day in slosh with trail runners, you're a fool. That's as nice as I can say it. So you need the right equipment to do the job. And as much as I like being out in the winter, I felt these were, these were gonna be a good fit. We're gonna talk about them. We're gonna talk about what I'm replacing. And then we're going to go over to the bench and take a closer look at them. So let's dig into some pertinence on these. Right now they're on sale at Eddie Bauer's website for $70, regular $140. Now in full disclosure, um, I own these boots. I bought them with my own money. So just getting that aside. So my opinion is my own. Right now there are on Eddie Bauer's website, there are 158 reviews at four and a half stars for this product. Like I said, normal price is $140. They're on sale for 70 right now. So let's talk a little bit about the boots. I didn't get the weight of them. They're just chunky. I think it's on the website. I think I might have it here. They have 200 grams of thermophil insulation. Important. And that's the one thing about these boots we'll talk about. EVA footbed. And the sizes they have, they have eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, 10, 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half, 12, 13, 14, Nothing about wide, uh, so you may want to contact Eddie Bauer. They are waterproof, have arch support. And they come in two colors. I have the regular and they also have like a carbon gray black. Now, what am I replacing? Well, <laughs> these monsters. Look at those bad dudes. They just have their own theme song. <laughs> These are the Cabela Moon Boots. They're not called the Moon Boots. They were called the Snow Runners. I call them Moon Boots because that's what they reminded me of. But these were the Snow Runners from Cabela's. I believe they had 100 grams of Thinsulate. And, you know, it was hardly enough at times. Um... I had a little bit of problems with these boots. Now, some of the good things on these boots was the BOA lacing system. For those of you that are familiar, you'll see a wire, really super strong. You just push the button in, and it tightens the boot down. And I mean, it does a good job. It's really resistant to the problems like ice buildup and things like that on the boot, which is really nice. So, to pop it off, release it the whole boots loosened up. And that was one great thing about the snow runners that I only wish, hear the Eddie Bauer, boa, boots, put them on your, do it, it's worth it. That right there. Um, that is an incredible system. Um, limitations, I haven't really found any. Um, now, why did I only get two seasons out of these boots? If you look at the tread, tread wear is really good on them. I still got a lot of life left in them, but you'll notice where I can literally stick my finger in the boot. So when you create boots with all these stitch areas, you've just created something with more fail points. That's my problem. And then also it didn't have a place on the top to hook my gaiters onto. 
<clears throat> I mean, they were comfy. You know, I hiked Zaleski a few times in them. Um, and those things are just gnarly. Look at them. <laughs> so yeah, they failed, and they failed in a few places. But I tried using shugu and crammed shugu in that hole, and that held for a trip. And but the last trip, what ended up happening <clears throat> was the lower leather bottoms were completely saturated. We had a surprise snowstorm at Zaleski um, dumped a few inches on us. So what ended up happening was, you know, freeze, thaw, freeze. It was just. It just completely failed. Um, it took me a half hour with my backpacking stove <laughs> of thawing these puppies out. I couldn't get my foot in them. They were just that saturated with water and froze that hard. So, and it wasn't sweat. It was it was just catastrophic failure of the boot, so. Gone. Um, so I look forward to trying these out. I think um, as much as I'm out there in the winter, I think this is going to be a good choice. Um, that being said, let's take a closer look at them. All right, so here are the boots. Let's take a closer look at them. Now I'm surrounded by lights and tripods, and it's a little hard to get my hands in here, but we're going to make it work. Take a close look at them. Now there is a spot for your gaiters, a loop. However, they ran the lacing through there and had it flat, so do know that that you'll need if you want to use gaiters with a gator loop you'll need to take the laces off so just know that going into it so it does have the eva footbed which feels a little thin to me i'm not sure why nice rubberized top which is really what i'm looking forward to i don't want another pair of boots to let out on me in the middle of winter miles and miles and miles from anything that is usually bad nice little heel kick there The tread is not a Vibram or anything like that. The one concern I have is it seems like pieces would break off pretty easily. We'll see how it holds up in the long term though. So the interior, let's unlace them a little bit. So again, Thermophil, 200 grams of insulation. How that compares to others, I don't know. This is the first time I've had boots with Thermophil. What I can tell you is the entire inside of the boot is like the most comfortable, squishy, most awesome thing you'll ever stick your darn foot in. It is amazing. Now that's another point here, is with these boots, a lot of people are saying that they run small. Well, they do to a point. They do because it's true to size, but they've crammed the thing with insulation. And if you look, there's a lot of give to this insulation. So what you may need to do is possibly go up a half size and just let the boots break in. I would not take these on the trail right off the bat for no money in the world. I think that would be a mistake. Wear thin socks and just let the footbeds settle in. Let your foot form to the boot. That would be my recommendations. Let's take a look at Pull the insole out. Oh my goodness, look at that. How thick that is. That is not a joke. Oh my goodness, I am really looking forward to using these. Yeah, these are sharp. I just love how thick that insole is. That is just going to be <laughs> lovely on the feet. All right, so let's try them out with gaiters. And there we have it. That's with a pair of gaiters on. Uh, this is just a cheap pair of, you know, waterproof gaiters. Nothing special here. So, of course, got a nice connection. And you're going to notice that kick. The gaiters fit really nicely with where this is. As you can see perfect fit really like the way the gators just lined right up with these that's sweet what a nice perfect fit for that and I could tighten this down it's a little loose 
So yeah, the, with gators, looking really pretty good with gators, definitely. So, so far, uh, my opinion, without just, with, with having just worn them in the house a few times, is that I think you could do a lot worse for $70. Um, I think for 70 bucks, it's a steal. Grab them, grab one, grab two. This is in that brownish color. There is like uh, one that has this black down here and it's kind of like a gray smoke up top that looks pretty sharp. And I don't know guys, I think give it a shot. I mean, so far none of my Eddie, Eddie Bauer gear has let me down. So, so far so good. But anyway guys, that's what I got. We are going to be doing our review on these this winter. Um, a full field. This is just kind of the overview, the first look at them. So hopefully we'll get into some pretty good snow and a big heck of a mess. And we're going to go playing in these. Alright guys, you know what to do. Click down below, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, share this with your friends. Remember, once we hit a thousand subs, I'm giving away an Olight Parent Headlight System.